Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the best sodium settings for Minecraft 1.21.4, uh, sorry. And uh, as you can see right now, I got over 900 uh, FPS. So let me show you how you can achieve it as well. Let's get straight into this. Obviously, uh, we'll need to install the sodium mode. Uh, I will leave the download links uh, in the description. I didn't want to show you how to download it because it's pretty easy. And I already have a video on it on my channel. So if you want, you can check it out. So please go to the video description and download these three files. Uh, those files are Fabric Installer, Fabric AP and Sodium Fabric. And once you have these three files, go to the Windows search bar and type in percent %fdata%. Percent. Hit enter and this will open up uh, the roaming folder. And once we get in here, go to the .minecraft, find the mods folder, open it up and then take these two files in to the, into the mods folder. So uh, when you get to the mods folder, you should uh, insert uh, these two files uh, which are fabric ap and sodium fabric for files sorry so now go back and go to versions open it up and double click on fabric installer a window will pop up and now you need to select the right minecraft version so it would be the 1.21.4 and hit install let's wait a bit and now as you can see fabric loader has been successfully installed so you can close this window and now you need to check that you can see 121.4 fabric version in here. So you can see it uh, because I can see it. If you can't see it, you, you need to reinstall it, okay? So when you when you see it, you, you just did everything correctly and you can open up the Minecraft launcher. So let's do that, please. Let's wait a bit and now we'll need to select fabric loader 121.4. Also go to the installations and let's make sure that we have allocated uh, enough RAM. So under GVM arguments, as you can see, I've got uh, 2G, but I'll change it to 16G because I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM. So in case you've got uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM like me, use 16G. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, use 80G. If you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, use 4G and uh, and so and so. Uh, always make sure that you use 50% of your RAM's capacity. That's basically it. Yes, yeah, so just use 50%. If you got 2 gigabytes of RAM, you would use 1G. Okay, that's the best settings uh, that you can uh, do right now. And then we'll go to Minecraft and change the settings in the game. So finally, we are in the Minecraft menu. Sorry for the blank screen for, for like two seconds. And then go to the single player and choose your word. Once we get in here, please make sure that you press escape. With this, we can get to the game menu and now go to options, video settings, and here we are. So let's get straight into this uh, for me or and also for you it would be the best to use six as a render distance and six as a simulation distance because uh, it will help you to get more fps and as you can see it's not that bad with the visibility it's pretty good and it's enough because if we just use two and five it looks awful that's not good yeah, so we'll use six and six, maybe four and six, uh, you, you can play with this setting. And now also make sure that the brightness is set on bright. Uh, yeah, make sure that you turn on full screen, it's better. Also try to, try to, wait, it's like, okay, nice. Uh, try to turn on the vest, V-Sync, uh, it, it may be better for you. Uh, it's not good for me. So I won't use it. Um, I hope that you know what VSync means. It basically locks your FPS uh, with the same hertz that you've got on your monitor. So for me, it's 144 FPS, as you can see, because I've got 144 hertz uh, monitor. Now, regarding max frame rate, make, make sure it's unlimited. And if you bobbing, if you turn off bobbing and you walk, you can see, you just look on the hand, it's not shaking and it looks ugly. So definitely make sure it's on. And it doesn't really impact the performance as well. So you can leave it on. And now when we get to quality, just let's get this quickly because I don't want to waste more of your time. So just use one sec. 
it is. This is the best settings. So in the quality tab, just make sure that you use these settings. It's the best. Now, when we get to performance, let's make sure that you turn off all these four. Uh, make sure that you reduce FPS when AFK. And now, okay, you need to turn this off as well. So the first five. And when we get to the chunk update threads, you, you need to play with it, okay? I found out that free threads are the best for me, but uh, you need to play with, it, play with it. It depends on your CPU, so just play with it and make sure that you find the best settings for you. I found out free are the best for me. And when we get to the advanced setup, make sure you turn this off. And again, you should play with the CPU render ahead limit. So find the best frame rate, uh, no, no, not frame rate, sorry, but frames. And uh, yeah, let me use free because that's the best for me as well. And yeah, this, these are the best sodium settings. When we just turn on a free, you can see I've got over 1000 FPS, which is pretty good. <laughs> Uh, and I, yeah, I know I don't really need it, but it's still pretty like flexing, you know, <laughs> that you get over 1000 FPS in Minecraft. Okay. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope I have helped you to achieve more FPS in Minecraft. If that's not the case, please leave the comment and I, I, I'm pretty sure that we will figure it out. So thank you so much guys for watching this video and see you in the next one.